What's up, degenerates? Mad Morrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, great day. Hope you enjoyed it. Two winners and a placed horse at a nice price. It's the best I could do. We had one disappointing selection. Ask Paddington. Just never at the races today. It just wasn't himself. Ground was uh, had a little bit of soft in it, which definitely does not help this horse. You know, and I was worried the minute when the ground, when they were saying it was on the softer side, I to be honest, I thought we were cooked there. But I didn't think he'd run as flat as he did. So, look, he'll be back another day. But when we're back in the likes of him, we need him on quicker ground than good. Like, good is the, is the, is the, is the slowest. No good. If you see soft in it, it's too slow. But he is a good horse and he'll be back. He might be a little quirky as well. But anyway, great trainer. And they'll get him back, no doubt. Right, let's touch on a couple of winners today. Nicholas T, getting it done, advised at 11 to 2 last night. And then Lady Alicia, what a ride from Georgia Dolby. Great ride, absolutely timing it to perfection. And what was a tricky race because there went no pace, which didn't suit her. She was trying to get her settled and then she didn't panic when they quickened. She just took her time, produced them. You know, if she hadn't went any earlier, she might have got bet. So brilliant ride, really good. And very happy with the two winners. And then Irv, our nap of the day. Two points each way at 8-1. to one, Running a massive, massive race. Really thought it was going to win down the straight. And just maybe pulled himself up in front a little bit. But nothing to do. Jockey gave it a brilliant ride. Kicked on. I think the horse let us down more than the jockey. I think a set of blinkers would do him no harm, to be honest. Uh, he's because he hit the line strong when the other two passed him. So I think the horse cheated us today. I think he the jockey done everything right. He turned in second off a slow pace. You know I know people think you're you're kicking too soon, but when you go when you go steady in a race, you certainly don't want to be taking your time when you're on the pace because horses coming behind you they'll get first run on you. So you have to go forward, even if it's three out or two and a half out. You have to go forward because. If, if you've gone steady, whoever kicks first normally wins. And, and just, I think the horse just cheated us. If he had a set of blinkers, he might have went through with it. But brilliant. Still to place, getting us a nice profit as big as 8-1. to one. So very happy. Great day again. What a week. All the naps uh, collecting money this week. Three of them winning. And three massive naps. Three point win naps. All winning. And then the two point nap, each way nap today getting money as well so what a massive massive week for us lads three winners on monday uh to be honest i can't even remember how many winners we had but we had a right few winners and, and that's that's exactly what i expect of myself and uh, yes just bear in mind this is why lads we bet in a point system because we might hit a flat spot for a week but just don't panic because sometimes variance will catch up with us we might get a few losers in a row but i promise you in the long run we will crush well, <laughs> there isn't like since we started tipping the profit now after this week is just unbelievable. We're we're plus it's it's nuts. I'd say it's it's the highest of any any uh, anyone in the industry. We're we're out by a mile. If I got the full figures of every single bet we done, which I have no interest in doing or no interest in putting in that work to pull them up, but I can assure you we are crushing and we are miles clear of anyone in the game. That is a brilliant week. Everyone got, got fed up last week because we had a couple of losing days. Lads, I didn't tip a winner for four days and everyone, or three, it was. Do you know what? It, would you believe, what they were giving out, I, I this, lads giving out that I hadn't tipped a winner and it was one day, the night before, I'd actually tipped a 9-2 winner. But that guy probably done all his dough on the first loser. But I'd actually, they were giving out, within one day, I hadn't tipped a winner. It was uh, that they were giving out. So listen, stay following lads. I can crush this game for you in the long run. We just have to to take the rough days as well. We could have losing weeks. We could have a losing month. But I guarantee you one thing, we'll never have a losing year. And anyway, it's flying. I hope you're all enjoying it. Tell your friends, like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button lads. I need you to. There's half a year watching the videos, getting all the winners, and you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel. It's free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe, hit the notification button. Be first to get the videos, and hit the likes on the video. It really helps the channel. Right, enough about that. Great week, lots of winners. Let's hope we can pick it up tomorrow and get some really, really nice winners. Right, Fakir Dalin, the 150th down Patrick. This son of Cocorico, I think that's how to pronounce it. Could be Cocorico, but I'm pretty sure to pronounce him Cocorico. So 
this horse came with a bit of a reputation. He was bought for I think pretty penny and Jordan Game for takes over. He look he I actually rode this horse a few times. To be honest, when he came, he was a little a, a light set horse, light framed and weak enough and a nice horse, but just too weak to do himself justice. I remember he ran in the bumper in Nav and I think first time out and he had well he had a nice price tag so therefore he was sure he was odd. i think he started odds on on the day but he had fucking he had no chance that day he was odds on he just he just was a weak horse and he's taking a little bit of time to come to hand and sometimes horses like that can be delicate and it just takes them a bit of time to, to kind of strengthen up so it was good to see him return from a break i think that's exactly uh where he was at and the break will definitely bring him on uh, the run the last day was promising and you'd be hoping now he can show a little bit of potential and I think he will I think he'll be bang there tomorrow hopefully he can get the win so one point win back here Dalane 150 a down Patrick Jordan Gameford in the saddle right let's move on from there to Salisbury I think the rest of my selections are at Salisbury yeah right the 208 in Salisbury this is a tricky one because I've, I've a kind of like two horses with upside here. One of them bolted in the last day. There was money from at the off at Lingfield. I think he's up seven or eight pounds. Mountain Ash is his name. Oshin Maxweeney in the saddle. Rod Millman having a good time of it. All his horses running well. I like the way this horse uh, won the last day. He was still green enough. But he really powered through the line. And everything says yes. You, he should handle the eight pound rise. And is definitely the horse to beat. I also like a Tony Carroll filly here, Queen Sarah Boy, is it or Sarah Boy, however you pronounce it, Molly Phillips in the saddle in the 208 at Salisbury. So I'd like a, a, a point win on Mountain Ash at 9 to 4 or whatever he is his favourite, and Queen Sarah Boy a point each way. I think Molly Phillips definitely is a promising rider, she's shown that already. And uh, the 208, Tony Carroll, I can't say enough about my role, lots of winners for Tony, he always backed me. When other people wouldn't. So thanks a million Tony Carroll. Lots of, lots of good rides. And lots of good times there. So really really good guy. Training lots of winners. And, and just uh, yeah. A, a credit. Really solid. Right. Let's move on from there. The 238 then. This is a horse that will outrun his odds lads. He's a big price. Lumo. Lumo. I'm sure he's named after uh, the All Black famous player I'd say. Right, Holly Doyle in the saddle for David Lochnan. So really, really well. David's having a great time for two. So 10 to 1, a point win. There's only six runners. Point each way, a point win. I uh, will just go a point win to fuck. Lumo, 238. Look, if you want to do the point each way, but I think there's only two places. 10 to 1, six runners. No, we'll do the point each way on Lumo. So 10 to 1, because I think he can run well. And Holly Doyle getting the ride. He, I'd say he's he, he's fit enough after a short break. Right, moving on then to a filly, Kindred Spirit. Thank God they gave her four weeks. This is a filly I napped up the last night. She lost her confidence after being badly bumped in um, Lingfield one day. Then she went to Windsor the next time we napped her up. And unfortunately, the mayor's confidence was gone. But she's had four weeks. Roger Varian wouldn't run her again unless he was happy with her. So I'm sure they've got the... Do it, you know, work on her a little bit, maybe work her with a bunch of horses or things. But this filly is a good filly. Unfortunately, she just got really, really badly frightened. So let's hope she can bounce back, lads. And if she does, she'll win. One point win. David Egan in the saddle. So no fancy naps tomorrow. Just a few nice selections. Always, lads. Gamble safe as always. Stick to your point system and we'll enjoy it. Look. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, do all that. Like I said, it's free to subscribe on YouTube and uh, helps out the channel. I'm doing my best to keep bringing you winners. All right, I'll be launching next week for the paid service. Hopefully, uh, 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 lots of the loyal supporters will come through. And uh, yeah, I'll make up the terms and conditions of the different, uh, there'll be three different entry points into what is available. And hopefully, uh, yeah, we can do it. Like I said, uh, I don't work for the bookies, so that's why I'll be charging for tips. I'm probably the only tipster that doesn't work for the bookies. Well, there is a lot of them, but here's one of them that doesn't. Anyway, I'm here to crush the bookies. As you can see, I give you out lots and lots of winners. I probably I started tipping two months ago, and I've probably given you about 70 winners. Not bad. Well, I've, I've tipped 70 winners, or pretty close to it. All prices. Like and subscribe.
the cotton is over. We'll wipe them out, boys. Paddy Power, Labrooks, Piles, we don't care how big they are. I'll be on one day with a super Yankee and as my by the industry, we will be the shareholder leaders. Good luck.